So I'm about to teach you what the curves do because they're pretty confusing and I've got 11 free curve presets for you because most people just do a general S curve or a fade to the blacks. There is so much more to curves, color curves, how you can use the curves, how you use curves in combination with other tools. There is so much more to this but this is going to be beginner so you can get the foundation so you can later recreate any style if you practice enough and uh, maybe get to the stage where I am where I can look at an Instagram feed and have a very good idea on just what curves they are using because most of the videos I see out there the advice would just leave you working with the curves for an hour and then realizing the original actually looks better than what you've been doing for hours with the curves we need to understand them as a scientific tool like what does it do you have to understand the curve because it is probably 70% of all these styles I'll show you if you get good at the curves you really can start to create any style you want. It's kind of the secret to how I've done so many YouTube tutorials uh, recreating styles is because I learned the curves. I understood the power of these curves um, way back in 2017 and that's why I was able to get such great results with these tutorials. Re like look at someone's Instagram and know what kind of curve they were using. Okay so let's get into it. We have a box here and the box represents every shade of your image okay so you've got very dark pixels and you have very bright pixels in your image and the box represents this this is affecting the blacks this is affecting the whites and how i like to explain it is so it's blacks over here on your left and whites over on your right and then this axis the y axis is how bright or how dark you are making your image. So how bright, how dark, and then, so Y axis up and down, how bright, down, how dark, and then the X axis. So across here is where in our image. Do we want to brighten or darken the bright parts of our image? Or do we want to brighten or darken the dark parts of our image and it's a square so we can brighten or darken any part of our image okay has nothing to do with color at the moment so if we come across to this one here this is exactly the same it's just that we can't plot points on it we use sliders instead so this is just easier in the sense it just gives big movements to to the point so we don't have to go dot 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 like we've just got these automatically set highlights or lights we can do these nice curves without the need of plotting lots of points but it's exactly the same so we've got the red green and blue channel now we have three colors if you understand the color wheel i have a free training on this you can start to mix and recreate any color you want. That's all you need to know. These three colors, if we play with them enough, we can create any color we want. So we can say if we put heaps of green in the highlights, we're pretty green. And then we can put lots of blue in the highlights as well. And then we're, and then we're a bit more of a, like a tur turquoise. And if you just look at the color wheel, you can start to understand what color you are affecting and then it is also works in terms of brightness just like we went over where it is darks on the left brights on the right up is how much down how much darker you want but in terms of color so you are adding in the color or you are subtracting that color so i've got a full training on this that goes very in depth and very uh sciencey into and it's and that will be linked down in the description if you haven't watched that okay but that's really it by understanding that so you can affect any color in any area of your image and any brightness of any area in your image So what's hard is actually knowing how to use these curves. Like it's it's one thing to understand what they do, 
but using them will take a lot of practice and understanding what they do so you can go and create a style with them is the next step you need to learn so like why do this in the curve where it's like real down in the highlights well, just real quickly in this video because it gives this matted look that a lot of people like so that's one technique if we come across to another one like why do this in the curve why why bring down here like why darken because we are darkening the image it gives a more cinematic look and it is very different to working with the sliders up here so this is just I'm just trying to give you like a good idea of what's next in your learning is the ways of using curves to create the styles you want so this one for example why lift the black so much it gives a really nice fade to these blacks here okay so there's a fade there if we reset channel you can see there's no fade fade it can look a bit more like film sometimes underexposed film can look nice or this one for example why why bring the white point down so much because up here you can see these are the brightest areas it gives a flattening it darkens and that can give quite a smooth cinematic look so again in this one for example down do we want a creamy white it can look very filmic and nice if we just bring that down and then this is one i see all the time especially for people that really really like the film look is to do this in the curves so that really brings down the highlights and yeah there's so many different examples like this one again big lift of the shadows and then the color channels are just another whole beast in themselves like this one has slightly more green in the mid tones there is so much to cover that is not possible to cover in this video so i've given you a very light overview of dark pixels over on your left bright pixels are in on the right your whole image is just a whole bunch of pixels that are black and black and white or in brightness forget about color for a second uh, dark pixels on your left bright pixels on your right how much do we want to brighten how much do we want to darken and that's it or like this one for example this one this image has heaps of contrast so in the color channels we are really doing a strong s curve that's how we get strong contrast in the image because we are darkening the darks brightening the brights and then in this curve we want that fade softness so that's what we're doing there but there really is every style is very different depending on what is your style is it cinematic is it filmic is it soft and dreamy is it just professional and clean looking like quite commercial looking that it doesn't have a style it just looks like a great looking image so if we go over some of these images and we just reset or turn these off and on you can see how much of an effect the uh, a lot of these curves have so off on you really really do need to understand so much more punch so much more color so much more smoothness and so much more precision when using these tools so these are really great edits from the guest editors teaching in the course but you can see how how different they are photo to photo even though they're all great looking edits and great looking photos they're just all very different curves because all these creators have very different styles uh, very different feelings to their style or their photography uh, here's another one just a straight curve all well, these ones have s curves very very interesting to me when i started to look at all these curves how people do curves and yeah you will not regret learning the curves if you're a photographer because they will set you free into creating the styles you want getting very clean looking professional so i didn't want to over complicate this video dark pixels on your left bright pixels on your right up and down is how bright we want to make them down is how dark we want to make them and then the color channels any color we can create any color with three colors 
So we mix them, we put a little bit of red, we put a little bit of green, what color do we make? Just look at the color wheel and then that's how people get these unique palettes to, to the editing. Once you get these basics down, then that's when you start to learn how to use curves with sliders and curves with HSL and then the why behind these adjustments and then how everything intertwines together to get consistent uh, style and feed because you've got to know this stuff. Why is there a little more blue than green? Why is that? Because there is a tactic, there is colors that we're trying to pull and remove to get uh, the style. Okay, I didn't want to overcomplicate this. Free training, free presets, heaps of free stuff. I'll catch you in the next one.